What's happening Troops and welcome back to the channel. Tonight is the first Champions League qualifying night for the Scottish teams and tonight we have at Celtic Park or Parkhead that you would like to call it. It is Celtic versus KR Reykjavik from Iceland. That's a 7.45 kickoff tonight. In the Europe and the Champions League qualifier, the both te the Celtic have met met the the side the side from Iceland once back in twenty fourteen, and Celtic won five 0 on aggregate, um, over the over two legs, home and away, um, Celtic haven't played football in a week, over the breach of the coronavirus rules of bullying. Is volleyball in Galway travel to um, Spain and broke the quarantine rules by coming back and not quarantine for 14 days? And Celtic, and, and in the result of that, the SFA banned Celtic for, from playing their two domestic games for two games. Um, well, the Reykjavik team from Iceland have lost their last match 2 1. Um, not really know much about the side to be honest. Um, Celtic are playing a four two three one tonight, and Reykjavik are playing a four three three, with the new great goalkeeper Barkas playing for Celtic. Um, on paper and what I've read and etc, Celtic are favourites tonight, and they'll be eager to get back and win, especially at home tonight. Um. It will like Celtic will dominate this match, hopefully, as as it's a Scottish side playing in like international football sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I want Celtic to win tonight, and I will go for a three 0 win to Celtic tonight at Parkhead, with odds on Edward to score one goal and McGregor to score the other. Um, I will be watching the match if I'm going to try and see if it's on TV and hopefully try and watch the match and I will give you guys a post-match like of what I thought the game etc on my point of view and you yeah, guys that's it and there will be another few videos coming up in the next couple of days but as, as we always say, like and comment down below, t subscribe if you're new, and me be myself, Connor, this being the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast, and I'm out.